Rick has scaled down the celebration of Eid al-Adha this year. Muslims around the globe are marking the Islamic festival with restrictions. Let's take a look at some of these stories now. Hundreds of worshippers prayed outside Turkey's iconic Hagia Sophia to mark the festival. Eid prayers were held in Hagia Sophia for the first time since its conversion from a museum to a mosque earlier this month. Hayır adına ulaşmamıza vesile eyle ya Rabbi. Efendimiz Muhammed Mustafa Aleyhisselam. Muslims in Indonesia mark the holy festival with proper precautionary measures to contain the spread of the infection. Several devotees flocked into a mosque in the capital city of Jakarta with face masks and proper social distancing measures. Authorities also imposed mandatory temperature checks as a safety measure. The country's religious ministry advised the mosque to shorten the prayer ceremonies. Many mosques in Jakarta cancelled the sacrificial ceremony this year over the fears of virus transmission. Years of conflict, poverty and now the ongoing COVID-19 crisis has subdued the celebrations of the festival of sacrifice in the war-torn country of Libya as well. The annual sheep markets in the outskirts of the capital city lay deserted with just a handful of buyers. Traders are facing massive losses due to the significant de decline in demand for sacrificial animals over this year. <laughs> Algerians brace to celebrate Eid despite COVID-19 fears. The informal cattle markets in the capital city of Algiers were flourishing despite strict restrictions on livestock and cattle trade due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Residents flocked to city salons as they reopened ahead of Eid after months of closure due to COVID-19. Salons were permitted to open as part of an easing of COVID-19 restrictions in the country.